Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video by Tomasic. And uh, this is going to be the review on the Low C8 buggy that I just got and the uh, 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 Mini E Revo here. So uh, it's pretty small. <laughs> so to speak. So uh, yeah, so this is going to review uh, both of those and just what came with everything. Um, I gotta tell you one thing though that I do not like about this buggy. One, I think the engine is kind of a piece of shit. Like it, I haven't ran it yet, so I I'm not exactly saying. I said it maybe, but uh, if you guys can kind of see here, well, it's got a chip in the head. Um, I can probably order a new head for it. Uh, I don't have the money right now to, but it would be nice if I could get a new head for this because I do not like chipped heads. Um, it was already cracked and some of the fins are bent on it and I tried to bend it back and, well, it, uh, snapped off. So, uh, probably get a new head for that. It's probably going to be like 10, maybe 15 bucks tops. Um, RC Racer Beast, did you paint this body yourself? Like, is this is this the body that you said that you first did by yourself? Because, uh, wow, it is, uh, it's quite a paint job, actually. Um, not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's got its little nicks and stuff in it, but it's pretty good for a first paint job there, so. Um, yeah. So, just, this is just going to be a whole review of what I got completely. Uh, I got three extra rings with it, including the wing that's on it, or with another wing that came on it. So we got a Proline wing here. We have a, I'm not sure what kind of wing this is. But this is a yellow wing. Look, not, not much used. And this is a brand new low C wing. So I got those three wings there. Um, and uh, RC Racer Beast, you said something about how the servos are shot in there. Um, I don't think the servos themselves are shot. I think it is the receiver because I plugged one of um, the servos that you gave me. I plugged, uh, it was actually the steering server. I plugged this in to one of the plugs and it, it was the right plug. I swear to God, because it took one out and I put it in the same exact place. And uh, I got nothing at all. And then I took this over to my Revo um, back over there, and I plugged it in, and it worked perfectly fine. So uh, I'm thinking it is the uh, receiver. So um, I'm going to try to put my 2.4 in here later and then trying that out. But uh, I do like these servos. They are metal, metal gear servos, so uh, they're pretty nice. They're uh, pretty nice. So got those two servos there. Um, they also included this chassis. Um, it's got scratches on the back, not too bad, but, um, yeah, just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and it'll look good. And, uh, he also included this chassis too. Now this chassis, uh, this chassis is a little thicker than all of them, but, uh, I got this chassis with it too. This one's in pretty good condition too, uh, just right here and, uh, right here are the worst, but that's, that's usually where it skids. You don't skid in the middle too much, but yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good looking chassis there. Um, so, uh, yeah, not, not too bad. Um, also got this wheel wrench with it too for the uh, low C. Um, and now, before we get to the actual buggy itself, um, when I first uh, unboxed this and after I was done making all my uh, unboxing videos, I uh, took the mini Revo outside for just a run with the battery pile that it had. Oh my god, this thing is so fun. This thing is unbelievably awesome and fun. Um, probably should have been driving it with the body on. Uh, I did have to call tracks just to make a few adjustments to it. Like the ESC was, I had to reset that. And I set it back to regular driving specs, not race specs. So, uh, no, I'm not sure if he races, but uh, I scratched the motor a little bit. No, never mind, I didn't. Just the, uh, white wire there I scratched up a little bit because I wasn't using the body but uh yeah these things heat up quite a bit too like the ESC that thing heats up quite a bit so uh battery was pretty warm too when I took it out but uh I still gotta get a screw for this here he said that when he bought it there was no screw in there so uh and uh yeah so the only upgrades I'll probably do on this are four aluminum tie rods I'll probably keep the plastic push rods um I'll see how the A-arms hold up 
but the first and most definite things I'm going to do this is aluminum tow links and lipo. Those are the first things I'm going to do this when I get some money. So that's the mini e Revo. Uh, works, runs pretty good actually. It won't wheelie, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's just because the battery wasn't fully charged or not. But uh, I don't have a charger adapter to uh, charge the mini e Revo battery, which has the Traxxas plug on it. All I have is the uh, Tamiya plug, so. Yeah, so that's the Mini E Revo. Uh, uh, pretty nice. Uh, like you said, he hasn't driven it too many times and uh, everything works on it, so I'm happy. But I'm happy about the Mini E Revo. Now on to the buggy. Buggy looked better in the video than it does in real life, I have to say that. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It does got his little things and you know, it's got its, it's got its ups and downs, but uh, just from actually just sitting here, I haven't ran it yet, so I might hate you by the end of the day. Um, body is green, darker green than in the video. It's actually it's a pretty dark green actually. So, uh, and then here we have the buggy itself. Buggy's pretty nice overall. Uh, a little dirty. Um, probably tear this apart tonight, start doing that tonight, and, um, get to that and stuff, so. But, uh, yeah, so, the only thing that I'll probably end up doing to the buggy here is, um, probably, if, well, if the engine runs good, all I need is new head for it. Head I can probably get on eBay for, um, maybe 15, 20 bucks I can probably get a head for this, um, this is a... Pico Evo is what it's called, or Evo, or Evo, whatever you freaking you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it, is an Evo, Pico Evo, so, yeah, um, and then tear the, tear most of everything apart, and, uh, yeah, so, everything looks good, though, um, I know that trans, or the center differential works, because when I turn the drive shafts, they keep spinning, and the, uh, Thing spins here. Um, engine just from uh, turning the flywheel here seems to have pretty good compression in it. Actually, really good compression. It just it feels like that's just by fingers, so I'm not sure actually how it runs. But um, and then just set the buggy off to the side here, and uh, probably get a 2.4 system for that and the Mini E Revo. Um, I can get them on eBay for like 14 bucks, I think I can get them for. So, um, yeah. So, starter box here. Uh, I actually don't even know how to open this. Yeah, I, I do. I have opened them before, but I just, um, clueless right now. I don't even know. So, uh, yeah, the wire here came out, so I'll probably have to fix that. Um, I want to figure out how to open this up here, and, uh, I gotta get to that battery pack, so, uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, start box there, uh, it's got one of the huge, big battery packs in there, so that should last a whole day of racing, and just the Tamiya plugs, um, I probably could get, uh, stick packs for this, and then just, like, make my own mounting system here, but, uh, probably just stick with this, this will probably last longer. Um, so, yeah, it's got a pretty big motor in it, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, don't, too, don't know too much about starter boxes, um, I've only had one starter box in my life, and I only had it for, like, a week, so, um, yeah, so let me move some of this stuff out of the way here, and, uh, we will go to the box of goodies that he told me about. <coughs> I like the box stuff for the hole in the side over here. That's not too big a deal though. But uh, it's got the little C8 on it. Which I like. I'll probably clean this up too a little bit. Um, so here we have, looks like a head gasket for a cooling head. Um, here we have ball joints. 
for the uh, front steering. Uh, it's a steering ball set, 6.8 millimeter, 8B and 8T. So 8B stands for 8 buggy. Pretty sure. Mm, little baggy, little baggy. Um, looks like a differential gear here that looks like it's been eaten. Um, probably still usable, but I don't know. Uh, gas tank, mountain guard here. So, uh, front chassis brace looks like or something like that. This is actually a chassis brace right here. So, that's probably the front chassis brace. Uh, we got a left, this, I think these go in the rear, yeah. These, this is a left rear hub carrier. Um, and so is this is a left rear hub carrier. Left rear hub carrier. And right uh, hub carrier. Oh, I'm not sure what the difference is actually. Hmm. I honestly, I do not know the difference. But yeah, so got a bunch of hub carriers there. Well, those are good to have. Um, looks like another gas tank guard of some sort. Um, this is a chassis brace for sure. So go back over the back. Uh, we got a spring here for the pipe. So, that's that. Uh, just some other little stuff in here. Front bumper mount. On and off switch mount. Um, some screws and stuff like that. Uh, here, looks like we have a shock tower. Not sure what these are. But, uh, I'm guessing they're to the front. One says right and one says left. So, looks like a pretty new shock tower, though. It's got, like, two scratches on it. So, pretty nice shock tower. So, I got an extra one of them in case if I ever need one. Uh, radio tray. Guess this is a radio tray. An extra one. Um, part of the radio tray. Looks like a diff housing. Um, my little, little miscellaneous parts and screws. Uh, um, some servo extra heads. Um, ooh, titanium nitride push rods. Or shock shaft, actually, looks like. So, we got one of them. Surprise, but, uh, because all these on here are silver. So, uh, probably go out and buy a few of these, too, and I'll put these on the truck. So, I'll uh, use some screw back in here that I just took out for no reason at all. Um, piston heads and stuff like that. We got some Allen wrenches, some bigger screws, some hinge pins, looks like. Couple bearings and so stuff like that. Uh, not sure what that is there. Some sort of a wrench here. Hex wrench looks like or something like that. Um, I think this is heat shrink tubing. Not 100% sure, but that's probably what that is. Uh, extra hex here. Uh, looks like another head gasket here. A blue head gasket there that we first took out, and uh, yeah, so peace out, you guys. Take it easy, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later. And uh, I'll go over this again, so part two. See you later.